There are nine main political parties in Japan, and the strongest party is the LDP. One of the reasons why the LDP is the strongest party is because they have a strong faction system. Factions are common in any political system. For example, within America's Democratic Party, there are moderates, liberals, and progressives. As seen in America, factions usually revolve around an ideology. What makes Japan's factions unique is the fact that factions do not revolve around ideology, but around loyalty. Japan's factions are strongly tied to individuals because the LDP is a merger between two leading parties, the Liberal Party and the Democratic Party. These two parties merged because Communist and Socialist parties were gaining support. These two parties were led by the strongest Japanese politicians at the time, Shigeru Yoshida and Ichiro Hatoyama. Strong leaders and followers result in different support groups, and as time passes, slight interpretation and vision differences result in different camps. Here are the current main factions in the LDP. Factions are strong in Japan because Japan used to use the SNTV electoral system. The single non-transferable vote system allows multiple members within a district to win if they have the most votes. For example, if a district allows three candidates to represent their district, the following candidates can win because they have the most votes. This system inadvertently strengthened factions as LDP members would run against one another. Japan's electoral system was changed, so Japan does not use SNTV anymore. Nonetheless, this system has cemented the importance of factions in LDP politics. One of the main reasons why factions are important is because of political support. In order to become the Prime Minister of Japan, you must become the leader of your ruling party. In the LDP, there is an inner party rule to elect a new leader every three years. Each leader is allowed to serve three terms, which means a total of nine years. Factions come into play as factions will vote for a politician the faction head commands them to vote for. Therefore, it becomes important for potential candidates to reach out to different factions in order to receive their support prior to the actual inner party election. Let's look at the most recent inner party elections to see how factions played out. In 2021, when Suga stepped down, Kishida, Takaichi, and Kono were the three front runners. Although Kono is from the Aso faction, Kishida was able to get Aso's support, which led to his victory. Although Abe supported Takaichi, Kishida's career length and moderate tone convinced other LDP members to vote for Kishida. In a way, Japanese politics is similar to high school student council elections. The most popular kid, or the friend of my friend, gets elected to represent the class. You'll have a few kids who vote based on the speeches, but most kids have already made their minds prior to the campaign. Now that Abe is gone, Kishida's position on defense and constitutional revision may attract some Abe faction politicians to swing their support towards him. Of course, there are conditions attached to support. It is expected that the Prime Minister chooses ministers from the factions who elect him or her into office. For example, the Kishida, Asuo, and Moteki factions are the three main factions that sustain the Kishida's administration. Kishida leads the party, but is expected to take Asuo and Moteki's ideas into serious consideration. And just like factions can build a leader, they can destroy leaders as well. Just recently on January 10th, former Prime Minister Suga questioned Kishida's leadership. Suga claimed that Kishida should leave his faction in order for him to not be heavily influenced by faction politics. As a matter of fact, former Prime Minister Koizumi and Abe left their factions when elected as Prime Minister. Suga further argued that Kishida is more influenced by factional politics than what the citizens want, which is more than a jab at the Prime Minister. Suga's comments were not surprising. Kishida's approval ratings are at the lowest and his comments on taxes have angered and confused citizens and LDP members. There are two takeaways from Suga's recent comments. Number one, there is enough support behind an anti-Kishida movement. It's a political suicide for Suga to publicly challenge the Prime Minister without political backing. Kono Taro is extremely popular among Japanese citizens, and he has been the citizens' number one choice for Prime Minister for the past two years. Perhaps there are enough people who will swing behind Kono. Or perhaps Suga himself has enough support so that he can take down Kishida. Number two, there is a huge concern among LDP politicians regarding the upcoming elections. In April, there are regional elections to elect town representatives all around Japan. Given that Kishida hinted at raising taxes amidst inflation, perhaps LDP members are afraid that they will take a hit in April. The next leadership elections will take place in 2024, so it will be an interesting year to see whether Kishida can maintain support within his party. Do you think Kishida can survive well beyond 2024? I would love to hear your thoughts, so leave a comment below and subscribe to learn more about Japanese politics.